So when you look at that kind of estrogen dominance picture and how and what it's doing with the hormones, number one, that belly fat, that fat promotes inflammation. Cancer loves that. That's like the bed of how cancer grows, inflammation. But when you're producing as a woman too much fat, that makes you produce too much of a particular hormone of estrogen called estrone. That estrogen dominates after menopause. That estrogen preferentially binds to what's called estrogen receptor alpha, which is a very pro-carcinogenic receptor versus estrogen receptor beta, which turns things off. Yeah. So as a woman goes through menopause, most but not all will gain some weight, particularly around the midsection, but also waist, hips, etc. That promotes really a factory to promote that estrogen we don't want. Likewise with a man. He produces, you know, he has too much belly fat, he's making lots of estrone. That's going to preferentially bind to estrogen receptors that we don't want, and that's going to promote growth. That's going to promote spread. That's going to promote immune suppression. And these are all keys in how cancer can come together to not just start, but then grow and spread. Yeah. Okay, so a few questions. First question is, so would you say that uh, something as simple as lowering your weight would reduce your chances of cancer? Absolutely. 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 Okay. If there's, you know, looking across the population as a whole, across the world, mm. you know, obesity is becoming a massive, massive problem. Here in the U.S., it's, it's beyond massive. It's just out of control. Yeah. But the first step for a person to change their health and change their direction is to change their lifestyle, which you promote. And out of that will come weight loss. Yes. But it's not just lose weight to lose weight. They lose weight. Their hormone production and hormone imbalance will improve in and of itself. Yeah. Inflammation will reduce. Overall dysfunction will re reduce. Genetic, ex genetic expression will improve. Mm -hmm. So just simply losing weight, the body will work better. Yeah. And that can actually be the main mechanism to prevent cancer. So if a person's overweight, Simply say, how can I now lose weight? Yeah. And that would be your first step. Not just to lose weight and look better, but to improve hormones, mm. to improve inflammation, okay? Because it's metabolic. Yeah. You're not going to do one thing without affecting another. So losing weight changes the hormonal picture significantly. Mm. So if a woman comes in and she's estrogen dominant or a man's estrogen dominant and they're overweight, they need to lose weight. Mm. Absolutely. So what is the um, distribution of, of cancer patients in terms of, in terms of weight? Would you say that, let's say, 90% of cancer patients are overweight? Uh, the, the, the thinner you are, the less likely. And then that brings up the question of, of somebody, if, if they did not have a weight problem, how did they get cancer uh, without having the weight and the, and the estrogens in theory? That's a great question. Um, when you look at people,